Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, but his compassions fail not. All right, before I get started, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth. All right, the... the <clears throat> who are all Israelites, all right, who are in hope of mercy and salvation in these last days or these last seconds of these last days that we're living in, all right? Um, I think I'm going to entitle this The Lord's Mercy, all right? And the reason I read Lamentations 3 and 22, you're going to see with these three videos I'm getting ready to play. All right, from the bottom right, the one to the left of it, and the one after that. All right, you see the one with the red, it's 2 minutes, 51 seconds. And you see the woman uh, with the child on her um, chest, it's 2 minutes and 9 seconds. And then you see this uh, this young man, young woman, then the young man. Uh, about a minute and 36 uh, seconds. And um, this, is, this is the results, ultimately, of us rebelling against our power. All right, what we're getting ready to see. This is the results of us rebelling against our power. And this is what it has produced with these three videos. All right? And it's, 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 a, it's, it's a sad it's, it's sad, man, you know, but that's why I read Lamentations 3 and 22, because if it wasn't for the Lord's mercies, man, we would be out here done as a nation. The Heavenly Father had to leave a remnant, all right? He had to leave special spirits. He had to put an ingredient in certain spirits he sent back to the earth to counter this shit that's happened to us as a people, all right? He had to. The Most High knew exactly what he was doing because if you leave it up to the younger generation, if you leave it up to the niggas that sell out for the bag, we through. All right? We're done. The Heavenly Father had to leave men on the planet Earth with the ingredient of belief in him and his name. He had to, man. Otherwise, we'd be done. As it is written in Isaiah, the first chapter. Let me read that first, and then we'll uh, go back to the play these videos. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9. It says, Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, okay, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, meaning totally destroyed, okay? Totally destroyed as a nation. But the Lord left that remnant. So the water you how about shimmy how was shy for that, man. Now let's play these videos. Yes, there is an agenda about emasculation. But it is us specifically as black men that this agenda has been targeted at the most. Because it Why is it the the the, the black man first? Because Esau understands that the black man, the so called black man, is the head of the nation of Israel. He is the head tribe. And if wherever the head goes, the body will follow. And you can, that's in fighting, all right? Wherever your head is, your body is going to follow. So this is why the target has been heavily on the so-called black man in America, the Negro, all right? Who is the real Jew of the Bible, all right? This is why he's been targeted so hard. This is why he's caught the most hell. This is why he's... Uh, 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 degraded the most, okay, because he is the head tribe, okay. But the heavenly Father have kept a, a, a grape of the cluster to combat this shit that 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 missed the elect, because it's been a, a, a well thought through process 
by this damn devil to do what he has done. All right. Well thought through. Okay. And then on the flip side, I got to I got to uh, say this. It was the it was our behavior that allowed this to happen. We rebelled. Okay. So the most high did what he said he was going to do to us since we didn't obey his law, statutes and commandments. All right. So um, let me let me uh I'm going to try not to stop it cuz I wanted to play all the way through and then we get to the other scriptures. But let's play. It was our strength that they could not deal with. So understand what they did and I will skip through it again briefly. After they gave us an illusion of freedom, they lured us into this system. Gave us jobs and allowed us to get educations. Promoted some of their controlled bourgeois Negroes and placed them as our goals to ascend to. After that program set in our minds, they took away all those same opportunities. They promoted agendas that removed the black men out of the homes, allowing their school system and their entertainment to program and raise up our next generation. They then destroyed the communities from within by planting drugs and guns directly in our communities and they marked our streets by placing Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in every city. Not as a memorial for us, but as a marker for them to know where they are attacking specifically. And so that others know that this is a black neighborhood. I mean, I can go to any city in America. And if I want to find the hood, all I need to do is find the MLK Boulevards. That wasn't by accident. They set up laws that imprisoned more of our men and left the next generation fatherless and angry. They filled that void with homosexual sellouts who promoted a lifestyle and mentality that destroyed us from within, removing our values completely, having us disrespect our women. Pretty much everything that would have been right for us, they promoted the complete opposite and made these men our heroes and the leaders of our society. And we're still celebrating them today, talking about their money and giving them props and all that other garbage. Now we're totally controlled and manipulated and we have raised up a next generation of black men that doesn't even know what a black man should look like or be like. We now have men that are submissive to their women and do not leave their homes. Men that are scared to combat evil because they're scared of losing their fake black card. And what we see now is either women or gay black men taking our leadership roles. This is all an agenda that has been used against us because while they defused us and made sure we are not a threat to them, they have been provoking and manipulating us to use our energy to bring about the change they desire in this world. Black people in America have an extremely high influence on culture and trends and social justice, but they are just echoing the voice of their puppet masters. And this has started because you, Mr. Black Man, have been neutralized. You have been conquered. And you have been so imprisoned that you believe that the only answer is actually the biggest weapon used against us. Yahusha the Messiah is your only answer. Which, of course, he got the name wrong. His name is Yahawashai. All right? But I, this video was, 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 was powerful. All right? Like he said, the so-called black man, the Israelite man, the Jew, the real Jew of the Bible, he's been neutralized. He's been conquered. All right? To, to the point to where he doesn't even know what a, what a real man is. All right? Even the manly man today don't even know. Okay? And this is why the Lord had to leave that remnant. Okay? This is this is this is why. And these next two videos, alright? Let's go. This is the, the product of the systematic uh uh destruction, the neutralizing of the so called black man. Not just the black man, but it trickles down. They had to get him first. They had to get the so-called black man so the rest can follow. All right? And this is the results of, of, of I would even say, barely a hundred years of destruction. I'm talking about when we were so-called set free here in the Americas. All right? Able to get, like you just saw the video. Now we're here in 2022. All right. And this is the results of what has been produced from this society. And if you if you think in one one if you think one little bit that this is OK, you know, that our 
the young women of our nation, all right, they just out here recklessly uh, having children the, with, with, with little ass boys that ain't ready to be fathers and they stuck. And this is how these young girls end up killing their children. All right. Dropping their children off in the alley somewhere, taking them and setting them on the step of the CPS office. All right. So Esau, that's like free sacrifice for this devil. All right. So I'm going to play this one with her. And you can see she, she's ready to give up the spirit. She's ready to, you know. Now, she don't go into detail of, you know, what's the problem. But you can tell she's young and she's mentally messed up, spiritually through, all right, because of this society that we've been brought up in, all right? This is the results of those all them years of systematic oppression, destruction of the uh, the father figure in the home, empowering the woman, all right? And this this is the results of it. I would wish the way I feel on nobody. And I feel so bad for my babies. Because they don't deserve I just like literally no coming back. Like I'm about to just dead disappear. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so hurt, and I'm so over it. Like <coughs> like I just need a do over, and to do that, I need everybody out my face. I don't need nobody calling me, asking me what happened. They want to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I just want to disappear. And get myself together. Get my mind right. My mind not right. I just keep asking God, like, what did I do to deserve this? I'm literally there for everybody. I try to help everybody who I love. What did I do wrong in my life to deserve this? Like, I'm starting to really regret my kids, and I don't want to feel like that. She's starting to regret her children, all right? These are, these, this is psychological damage that has been done to the, to the Israelites, all right? We're through without, without the Lord's elect, man. We are done without the Lord's elect. This is the youth. This is, this is the children that we had, all right? She can't be no older than 22, all right? She can't be no older than 22 years old, all right? This, these are the children of us from the ages, uh, late 30s to uh, mid 40s, going into, uh, you know, late 40s, 50s, all right? This is, this is the, 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 the production that has come from the offspring of people in that age bracket, all right? They've been raised by social media. They've been raised by uh, 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 reality TV, all right? There's no more morale. There's no more structure. The man was kicked out of the house. And he was looked at as, uh, uh, I can't wait till my birthday come around. I can't wait till my Christ Christmas come around. You know, when you saw your father, all right, you knew he was, he was, he's, he's just been, uh, uh, what you would call a, uh, an object that you would get things from. All right. Wasn't there to guide the house the way the heavenly father intended it. All right. And this, like I said, this all goes back to us rebelling. This, this is the results of it, man. If the Lord didn't send Yahweh Shai back, man, if he don't send Yahweh Shai back, what, what you think going to happen to us? Esau's moving with his with his foot on the gas. And this is this is the youth of our people. All right. 
This is the youthful woman. She's ready to. Uh, she says she 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 regret her children, and she don't want to feel like that. But this is how she feeling. And if she let them spirits, you know, get total control of her mind, ain't no telling what she'll do. This is why you're seeing women that have put their children in the oven. Tie their children up and leave them in the closet. Leave them at home by themselves while they out at the club because they think they missing something. All right? We done as a people, man. If you ain't on your Israelite, if you ain't talking about the destruction of this place and, 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 and raising up, having the Lord come and raise us up out of here, you in the wrong mother effing spirit, man. Okay? This place, this, this place, has produced nothing but death and destruction. All right? Let me get this right quick in the book of uh, Micah, the second chapter, Oldie But a Goodie. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. All right? Wow. <laughs> um. I can even read verse 9, all right, since I got it on this uh, this young woman here. Um, it says, the, the women of my people have ye cast out from their pleasant houses. From their children have ye taken away my glory forever. And this is what's getting ready to happen to uh, us as a people. You know, young women like this, single mothers, Y'all don't have a clue what the Lord's getting ready to do if you don't repent. Okay? What you're, what, what you're watching is the curses being played out on us, man. Okay? Verse 10, this is the key point. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. And that's what this place has done to us. We destroy. This place is polluted. You know, there's only one, there's only one way out of here, man. And that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shah having mercy on our souls. Okay. Love them so much, but I wouldn't be going to do none of this if I didn't decide to keep them. What is that ever going to get that better? Just worse and worse and worse. Like I said, I don't know exactly her ins and outs of why she was feeling the way she was feeling, but the point being, the spirit is there. All right? Regretting her children. Tired of it. Lost. Through. Okay? Now, this last one is of a, a as you can see, a young man. And I actually went to his page when I saw this video just to see the type of content he created. And he's a goofball. I'm going to just put it straight. straight. He's a 18-year-old goofy-ass product of, of the system, product of what's, what's, what's being produced here in Babylon, clueless. But for some reason, this video he did, I don't know if he you know, had an epiphany or seen something or whatever the case was. But what he says is is, is truly uh you know the liking of what was what's to happen if the Lord didn't come. All right? If the Lord don't come, we will be done out here, man. So let's let watch this one. Look, I don't know how much time we have that's left, but yo, you guys know our, our country's been going to straight trash, and I'm, all I'm going to say is, look, with all these movements going on, oh, we're lost. You guys are not helping. As you just heard him, he said, we're lost. We are lost, okay? He don't know who he is, what he is, what, what the, he don't know left, right, up, or down. Okay, and when, when I went to his page, it made perfect sense. He don't. He's lost. Okay? Here it is, yet they're being fed technology, being fed all these ways of life. But at the same time, like he said, 
this country is going to shit. It's, it's being destroyed. There's no structure no more. Okay? He said we're lost. All right? And this is why we go out to the highways and byways. Okay? This is why the Lord sent us to the highways and byways, man. To, 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 to teach the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 5 on down. It says, therefore, Yahweh Shai, Salakia. It says, these 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, go not into the way of the Gentile and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? And that's essentially when we go out there. This is what we're, 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 our message is. Our message is that the, the Lord is getting ready to come. Repent. Prepare yourself. All right? So that ye may be uh, uh, found worthy and may the Lord have mercy upon your soul to get up out of here before he destroys this place. The way it has destroyed us. But he's going to he's gonna overkill this place, man. Because of what it has done to us. Alright? Scriptures tell you for the controversy of Zion, this is why the Lord is going to do this. Alright? And we don't love the Lord's creation more than him. So how much more you think the Lord is mad to see his, his uh, people out here don't know what the fuck going on. Especially the Israelite man. You just lost. He got to he gotta kill you. Okay? You think it's going to come a generation after this? What you seeing? This dude is 18 years old, 19 years old. He have children you can already imagine. And he even going to say that. He said he don't even want to see what, what, what's going to be like in five years. Neither do I, Jack. We don't want to see what five years can bring. Okay, because it'll definitely involve the enslavement of of not only uh uh all the people of the earth, but majority the, the 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 main people they want to enslave is the Israelites, and to totally keep you disconnected from your power. This is why they're giving you the Kool Aid. This is why they want to put the C hip in you. All right, it's not a game. This man truly wants your ass to be governed by technology. And blocked off from your true power. All right? He wants to kill your your uh, your your pineal gland to where you won't have that connection to the Heavenly Father. And you as you can see, he his pineal gland is totally calcified, man. He don't know what the hell's going on, but he knows something. He feels something. All right. Let's play it back. Let me see. I'm going to back it up to the beginning. Look, I don't know how much time we have that's left, but yo, you guys know our, our country has been going to straight trash. And I'm, all I'm going to say is, look, with all these movements going on, oh, we're lost. You guys are not helping. I'm not sending shots at the LGBT community. Feminists, but like, like we're, we're lost. Art. See how, uh, how, 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 uh, neutralized Jake has become. How conquered he is. I'm not sending shots. Yeah, you are. Just say it. But Jake is so scared. All right. Just like the first video, you've been conquered. All right. Neutralized. You can't even speak your mind because you're scared. That these movements and these different communities is going to come after you. And this is why you got to have Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai as your rock. Okay? This is why you got to have Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai as your rock, man. Alright? Let me get that real quick. Because when you standing on Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Alright? It don't matter what come your way. You're going to be, you're going to, you're going to remain standing tall because your foundation is Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Rock solid. All right. 
Um, it says, this is uh, 2 Samuel chapter 2. And I'm going to start at... Uh, Well, I, I could start at one, all right? Key point is, uh, you know, uh, two and three. It says, And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in that day, that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And this is the mind state we have. We're, 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 we believe that the Lord is going to deliver us out of the hand of our enemy. All of our enemies, man. Okay? Verse 2, and this is what the spirit he don't have. He don't have that. You know? It says, and he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. All right? And when you standing on Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh side, ain't nothing going to move you. But you got to be sincere with it. You got to truly, truly believe. All right? It says, the, the God of my rock. The power of my rock in whom in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. All right. And this is what the youth is missing. This is what our young men are missing. All right. And this is it's been a, a. A mighty, a mighty job done by Esau Edom to get. The, the young men of our people, of our nation, to this point, totally conquered, neutralized, all right? And even these old niggas that's, you know, been so-called leaders of our people, they're conquered and they're neutralized, all right? The only hope is the hope of Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai, the hope that the Most High is going to send Yahweh Shai, all right? The hope that the Most High will raise up men, all right, in this society, all right, to snap us out of it, as he has done. Can you imagine if the Lord didn't raise up men out here? Like, like the majority, majority of our generation, generation is depressed. depressed. No, no one, one has, has an answer, answer, but you're not, not looking, looking at these chain reactions, these events. events. All, all this mainstream media, media and all this stuff that you're feeding us is, it's, it's killing us. We're sad. sad. We, we don't, don't have personalities, personalities no more. more. We, we just repeat what we hear, bro. bro. It's, you guys, bro. Bro. our influencers are going to be the end of us. And it's sad. It's disgusting. We need to stop. For real. We need to rethink everything. We can't keep going like this with all these different movements. It's killing us. It's killing us regardless if you see it or not. Just look. People don't even make sense in these interviews no more. Like, they just go out and look dumb. It's... I don't even know what's up for our generation. It's... Like, it's depressing even thinking about it. What's gonna happen in five years? Yeah. Because what's, what's, what'll happen is total slavery to the Israelites. That's what that's what will happen. You'll be going directly into slavery. All right. That's what's going to happen. If if this man was able to 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 continue on this this path. All right. And keep us under his thumb. All right. Without without the Lord intervening, we'll be in slavery in five years, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll be in slavery as a people in five years, okay? And this is why it's imperative, all right, that this grace period that the Lord has given us, all right, let's go, is, is to be taken serious, man, okay? The Lord could have left us out there to be towed up by all these spirits that's out there, the destroying our uh, people, man. Okay? We're going to go right to the book of Ezra. All right? We're going to go to the book of Ezra, the ninth chapter. We're going to read the eighth verse, the ninth verse. 
Um, and then we're going to jump up, all right? Or I may read it through. You know what? I may read it through, but let's start, all right? This is the book of uh, Ezra, chapter 9, verse 8, all right? Now, you know Ezra is the same as 2nd Ezra, or well, first Ezra and second Ezra is in the Apocrypha. It's the same thing, all right? So, and you know that that, in the Apocrypha, there's a, there's a lot of prophetic future events that Ezra recorded, all right? And even now, even in the book of Ezra, all right, you can equivalent these things, even though it was, you know, during this time that these things happened, when we were able to, uh, you know, <clears throat> a uh, uh, build up build up a uh, uh, temple and whatnot this um you can apply this to today in the spirit all right let me make sure I don't wanna mix up the uh history all right but uh this is Ezra chapter nine verse eight it says and now for a little space Shalaki, let me read that again. And now for a little space, grace hath been shewed from the Lord our power. All right? When 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 the, when the Most High rose up Abba Bibbins in this society. Okay? That was the beginning. That was the beginning of our grace. Because what happened? This, this word started to be preached again. We started to get the life put back in us. All right? Going to uh, the prophecy in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. All right. We started to get our life back. All right. We started to get our identity back from 1969, 1970, all the way up until this point. It started out by the most high raising up Abba Bibbins. All right. Whom we believe is Elijah, the prophet. All right. Through faith that came back. And as as the prophecy says, restored all things. All right. He restored the, the, the identity of us back and passed it on to men and they pass it on to men and they pass it on to men. OK. And now it's throughout the entire planet Earth and the earth is getting ready to go through a, 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 a judgment that there has never seen. OK. So this is our grace period. The Lord has given us. It says, and now for a little space, grace have been showed. For the Lord, from the Lord our power, to leave us a remnant to escape. All right. The remnant to escape began with Abba Bibbins. All right. Up until now, who the real the elders of our nation now, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and all the men underneath, and the men that follow the teachings, all right, and who believe the likewise doctrine, as well as the women. This is that remnant. Okay? This is that remnant the Lord left so we can escape, all right? And the, the, the escaping right now was to escape mentally, to snap out of this bullshit that we've been, 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 be, that we've been getting fed, man, okay? All this shit is vanity. And you got to fight. You got to fight. You know it's bullshit and you know it's vanity, but it's everywhere fucking around you. As soon as you leave your home. You know, this this bullshit ass hamster wheel race of a lifestyle that we've been fed. Work real hard. Work, work, work real hard so you can live the American dream. All bullshit. All vanity. And it becomes that much more bullshit and that much more vanity and vain when you are woken. To your power, to your true identity, who your savior is, who your enemies are. It becomes that much more of a burden. Okay? It says, uh, uh, reading from the top again, so like it. And now for a little space, grace have been given, grace have been shown from the Lord our power to leave us a remnant to escape and to give us a nail in his holy place. That our power may be lightened 
that our power may lighten our eyes and give us a little reviving in our bondage. All right. We've been revived with this word. OK. We've been revived with this word here in Babylon, man, because without it, we were all dead, man. I don't give a damn how much money you say you got. If you ain't living for your how about shimmy you are you a dead man walking. Point blank, period. We were revived here. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. I believe that's in, uh, yeah, Hosea. All right, let me get it. Well, I'm going to read it from my phone. I'm going to keep this screen up. This is Hosea chapter 6, verse 2. It says, after two days will, will he revive us. All right? Two days to the Lord is what? 2,000 years. And we were revived in, our, in, in the 2,000 years of us not knowing what the fuck. Okay? 1968, 69, 1970. Around that time is when we were revived. Okay? Which is the second thousand year, 1969, that we in that second day, okay, at that point. So the Lord revived us, okay? In the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. And we're in that third day. We're in the third thousandth year, all right? This is why it's 2022. The third day... Uh, uh, began in the year 2000 Okay So this man is on borrowed time For sure Okay So going back to uh, Ezra chapter 9 Verse 9 It says for we were bondmen Yet our power have not forsaken us In our bondage But have extended mercy unto us In the sight of the kings of Persia Like I said this was back then. But the kings of the earth now, they see the mercy that's been extended to us because they see us all online. They see us on these street corners. All right. And this is why they clip our videos. OK, this is why they clip our videos, because they see the mercy that has been extended to us from our power. We're standing on our feet and they are afraid. OK. To give us a reviving to set up the house of our power and to repair the desolations thereof and to give us a wall in Judah and in Jerusalem. Now, remember, they had to go back and build the, the, the wall up. See, our city now is not, it's not physical yet. Everything is spiritual, okay? And we have, we, we, through the spirit, the Lord has risen up men to set up the house of our power. All right, this royal priesthood that you see on the internet, that you see on them highways and byways. This is this is the this is the uh, house of the Lord, the men. Okay. And the Lord said He was going to raise up the tents of Judah first. Judah is that He had to be awoken first. All right. When you go back to the old school, when you hear the stories that the apostles uh, speak about that were there. All right. Those men that started the school were all Judite men. All right. The kingdom of Judah. And that was the wall that, that had to be uh, uh, put up. OK. So the Lord, it ain't a physical city this time. It's it's the men the Lord is raising up. All right. That's building up the uh, 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 the desolate. That's repairing the desolations. And, and putting a wall, all right? Verse 10, and now our power, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken thy commandments, which thou hast commanded by thy servants the prophets, saying, the land unto which ye go to possess it, it is an unclean land with the filthiness of the people of the lands and with their, with their abominations, which have filled it, from one end to another with their uncleanness. Now, again, that's going back to when we possessed the land of Israel, the land of Canaan. All right. We were uh, our land was 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 polluted. OK. 
how much more of this land is this is this land not polluted america and wherever else the israelites are uh, scattered the land is polluted especially america okay this this place openly uh, uh worships satan openly disregards the power of heaven and earth okay It says, now, therefore, give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons. And we just saw the results of having our children grow up in this society, worshiping these gods. And this is what, what, what produces them. You see the, 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 the mass confusion, the, the mental uh, uh, disorders that the youth of our nation have. You got to look at everything spiritual now. OK, because we did give our sons to these goddamn devils. Uh, ways we did give our daughters to these goddamn devil's ways. This is why the, the the mass majority of our women are whores. Okay, the scriptures tell us that uh uh uh, uh the daughters of there should be no Sodom uh no no whores of the daughters of Israel, man. But that's the majority of our women, whether they want to admit it or not. When they on social media, clapping their cheeks. Dancing, scantily clad, that's prostitution. Okay? That's prostitution. So we totally done as a as a as a whole, as a people. Alright? Reading verse 12 again. Now therefore give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons, nor seek their peace or their wealth forever. And that's what happened. Our people wanted peace from this devil the whole civil rights movement all right they wanted a, a piece of the pie get wealthy so what did esau do he let the chains off you niggas he gave you schools he gave you jobs and he snatched it then he flooded your old neighborhoods with drugs guns pimps players and prostitutes and that these are the people that they promote on the mainstream media you got to be like them in order to have success, to have money in this society. They put whores like Cardi B, all right? Homosexuals like P. Diddy, okay? And the list goes on. And this is what we've been uh, given to. This is what we, we, we sell our souls to, all right? It says... Uh, <clears throat> It says that they may that ye may be strong and eat the good of the land and leave it for an inheritance to your children forever. And that didn't happen. OK. I'm going to read these last three verses. Like I said, this was back then, but you can apply it spiritually to now. All right. Verse 13. And after all this and after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass. Seeing that thou our seeing that thou our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve, because we all deserve death, okay, and has given us such deliverance as this, and the deliverance has come first and foremost through the opening up of this book. The the, the knowledge being revealed back to us, who we are, all right? It says, verse 14, should we again break thy commandments and join in affinity with the people of these abominations? Since the Lord has opened up our minds, we, we disdain this world, okay? As it is written in, uh, was that Luke 9, 62, 63? Okay, you ain't, once you learn this thing, you can't turn your, your back on the plow and turn back to iniquity. That's the true proverb. A dog has returned unto his own vomit. All right. It says, Wouldest not thou be angry with us till thou hadst consumed us, that there should be no remnant nor escaping. Okay. But again, that's why the Lord kept his remnant. The, the, the elect ain't going ain't gonna, ain't gonna to backslide. They ain't going to go back to this bullshit. It's, it's a, a special ingredient the Lord put in them called faith. All right, verse 15, our Lord, power of Israel, thou art righteous, for 
for we remain yet escaped as it is this day. Behold, we are before thee in our trespasses, for we cannot stand before thee because of this. All right. But the, 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 the point being is going back to the ninth verse or the eighth verse. The Lord has given us this little space of grace. OK, we've been given this grace. OK, let's go to the book of Nehemiah. All right, the ninth chapter as well. And we're going to read 29 <clears throat> through 31, okay? Um, this is uh, Nehemiah 9, 29. And testifiest against them that thou mightest bring them again unto thy law. And this is what the knowledge has brought us. It has brought us back to living to the best of our ability by the law, statutes, and commandments that were handed down to us uh, by the hand of Moses. Okay, that's 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 the uh, the the law of life. This is the the rules and ordinances that should be uh, lived by on the planet Earth. All right, because when you when we do live by them, we we prosper as a people. When you read the history in the scriptures, when we were on point and kept the laws. In our land, we were we were good, okay? We were good. It says, Yet they dealt proudly and hearkened not unto thy commandments, but sinned against thy judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them, all right? And that's what happened to us. We didn't hearken, and we sinned, and now we're in 2022 with no hope for the future, except Yahweh Shai coming. If Yahweh Shai ain't coming, then you, we, we dead. We already dead. But we know and believe Yahweh Shai is coming to fix this shit. Hit the reset button. Okay? Because we need it. 100%, man. We need it. It says, and withdrew the shoulder and hardened their neck and would not hear. Okay? Our people don't want to hear. But that's why they're going to have to die on this side. Okay, yet many years didst thou forbear them and testify us against them by the spirit in thy prophets. And that's what's going on now. You think the Lord going to have the prophets out there when Esau is out in the street putting people down? When he released uh, 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 another so-called bioweapon? Okay, when he activates his towers to emit these different uh, uh, melodies to enact whatever it is he put in that goddamn Kool-Aid? You think we're going to be out there trying to teach? No. Now is that time, that little grace period the Lord has given. Okay? You're supposed to be getting with this thing now, yesterday. Because when the shit hits the fan, the shit is going to hit the fan. Okay? And it's going to be every goddamn where. You ain't gonna be able to control where 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 it, where it fly. It's gonna it's gonna hit every goddamn body, man. Uh, 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 people that's living in these little dusty ass bubbles, they don't, especially the Israelite woman, man. All right, the Most High gonna bust her bubble and the rest of you, Jake's bubble, that's just lost out here, and it's gonna be too late for you. Okay, and you had a chance to hear the prophets. Everybody know who the Israelites are. Oh, those are those. They crazy. Yeah, you're going to think we crazy. You ain't going to think we crazy when everything we've been saying comes to pass. Like the nuclear missiles destroying America. Now you see nothing but uh, uh, mainstream media talking about Putin and his nuclear weapons. Okay? It says, yet would they not give ear. Therefore gavest thou them into the hand of the people of the lands. Nevertheless, for thy great mercy's sake, thou didst not utterly consume them, nor forsake them, for thou art a gracious and merciful power. And this is why we got to, uh, uh, how you say it, um, you know, I'm going to just, the water, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. All right? Because without the Lord sending men down to the earth, all right, and tapping into them, all right, 
to, to, to teach his word the right way, we'll be through. Point blank, period, man. We'll be done out here, and there, there will be no um, type of cloak or nothing, man. It, it's that bad for the Israelite, man, all right? It, it's that bad out here for the Israelites, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to touch. The main... I wanted to show those videos and then show, of course, bring out the scriptures. And Lord will, this was edifying, all right? Lord will, this was edifying to the hopeful elect and eye-opening, you know, to, to the fact that, you know, the Lord has chosen and opened your mind up, called you into this thing, and he could have left you out there, man, you know? He could have left us out there to be totally engulfed in a wayward way of thinking, living, all right? But like the title says, the title of the video, I'm about to read that scripture and then we'll close it, all right? Let's get that real quick. We'll read that and that'll be it, man. The book of Lamentations, the third chapter, okay? With all that Esau did, the psychological war, the traumatizing, the destruction, the rape, the murder, the robbing, all that he did, the Lord kept his cluster. And that's the, the Lord's mercies, man. Uh, Lamentations 3 and 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Call her Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Like I said, Lord will, this was uh, edifying and eye-opening to us who, who have been called into this knowledge. And we continue to fight and take this thing uh, serious out of the sincerity of our hearts, man. Hey, on to the next video. Shalom.